Well, that's what it mean, don't it? This fight is not going to happen till 2023. Period. That's exactly what it means. And plus, if you know Al Heyman, that's definitely what it means. We ain't going to get to fight no time soon. So, like I said before, you can forget about as long as Al Heyman is implementing this plan. The whole fighters, the whole thing about fighters fighting in their prime, that shit is out the window. It won't exist no more for us. For our dads and our uncles, yes. For us, no. We will not get that as long as this shit is into play. Now, how fucked up is that? How fucked up is that? We will not get to see the fight till two. Till 2022-23. And I say 23. And wouldn't be surprised if it's 24. Straight up. Wouldn't be surprised at all. But. You know. At the end of the day. The only people that you could really blame. Is the people who's campaigning this shit. You know. So for all those who love everything that Al Hamer's doing. You love what he's doing with Deontay Wilder. And the Anthony Joshua situation. You are the people that we that should be drugged in the back of a vacant lot and executed. Because you are the ones that's fucking up this sport. How could you want this? You know, people ain't got all the time in the world. But once again, that's why I moseyed my ass right on there to uh, fucking UFC. Like always, one thing I can say about UFC. When boxing is acting up, UFC should be a fucking bumper sticker or some shit. Straight up. Because at least they fight in they prime. You can say what they want. At least they fight in they damn prime. But. I t- <laughs> no, I better not say that. <laughs> I better not say that. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'm going to say it anyway. Because I hate for a person to mention something and not tell me. How about this? How about this? Wait till you find out. Al Heyman owns the UFC. <laughs> Everybody's like, like what 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 to some of you i totally fucked your head up you know and to another group of you 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 know exactly what i'm talking about but like i said if you think i'm crazy whatever just look into that that's just a side little token you know saying right there but anyways um yeah so his next fight is lewis ortiz and adam kalnacki and Luis Ortiz, uh, well, now you can see why Luis Ortiz didn't get clear. And you know what? This is what I'm going to say about the Luis Ortiz thing because I didn't make a video about it. And uh, people wanted me to make a video about it and put him on the Duck Chronicles. And uh, Luis Ortiz is a complicated situation in a way, just like Mikey Garcia. I'm going to explain that, you know, in later videos or something like that. But this is what I got to say to Luis Ortiz, man. Since they convinced you or made you which one whichever one not to take the fight i would hope they compensated you for the amount of money that you could have made from that opportunity that's all i got to say if you did not get that you was one stupid motherfucker because your age does not allow the al Heyman format to play out it it, it don't work for you because biologically, you can't sustain his plan. It does not work for you. And check this out. If it was not for, um, if it was not for Anthony Joshua, Anthony Joshua, you wouldn't be getting no money anyway. You know, you wouldn't be getting no money, and you wouldn't be getting offered nowhere near that kind of money. I'm gonna put it like this: How can they offer or demand a pretty penny from you? When your own promotional team and your own banner didn't do shit with you. They didn't even do shit with you. So how all of a sudden they can see the value in you. When somebody else wants to fight you. But they didn't see any value in you as a contender. You know. As a champion. As anything. They didn't see anything in you. They didn't care to build you up. They did nothing with you. The only thing Luis Ortiz was used for. Was for. Deontay Wilder to build steam off of. That's it. 
And what is his claim to fame? Brian Jennings and what? A resume of what? Nothing. Good fighter, yes, but a resume of what? Nothing. Let's be real, nothing. So you didn't even do shit with him, but you're demanding something for him? And when you did pay him, you paid him 500000 Hold on, let me get this straight. 500000 after taxes, after paying his crew. So what Lewis Ortiz get? 150000 200000 Maybe? Maybe? Come on, just do the breakdown and do the math. Do the taxes and do the team and do the training and, and, and do all that. What, what is he walking away with? He lucky as hell if he walked away with 300000 Lucky as hell. And, and you know that didn't happen. So you didn't even pay this man right. But now you see why they don't want to give him up. Because he's going to use once again for Deontay Wilder to build Seymour. And you know what? It's an old shysty, snake ass, old fuck the fans uh, ass plan. But it makes sense, man. This is what they did with Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua. Deontay Wilder trailer hitched fame off of Deontay Wilder. Now that gives Deontay Wilder more longevity than what he would have if Anthony Joshua wasn't around. And since he already got that fame, the fight is inevitable. So why not clean up all the money that you can get off of Deontay Wilder trailer hitching off Anthony Joshua's name before you cash in the big chips? It's a smart plan. <laughs> I'm not saying it's not. It just fucks everybody over in the process. And it's not cool to fuck people over and take their money. You know? But that's what we stuck with. That's what his fans and everybody like. I guess everybody's liking the Al Heyman plan for the most part. But even people who supporting Deontay Wilder and Al Heyman like it's some fucking cult or whatever... Even at this point, they got to be like, man, god damn, man. They're making it super hard to defend. You know what I'm saying? How can we defend y'all doing this bullshit? But, like I said, that's where we at now. Anyways, uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section. And, and and you know what? I actually think Adam Kalnacki, um fucks Deontay Wilder up. Low-key. Seriously. I think he fucks him up, low-key. But anyways, um, you guys can tell me what you think about that in the comment section too. Anyways, Bruce Van, I'm out.